we know that the exams, the biology, October biology exams are coming up and they are a matter of a few weeks away. So we know that the exams are on the 12th, on the 16th and on the 20th of October for biology. Okay, so this is what we are going to make our plan for. So in this video, I'm going to go through my suggested kind of plan of action building up to the exams for A-level biology that are happening on these dates. Let's begin. Okay, so let's look at that now. We've got seven weeks, okay? Seven weeks. So tip number one is going to be don't panic. Do not panic. Um, have a plan, okay? So point number one, so approximately, this is what seven weeks looks like. Now, the things that I'm going to discuss, you know, I've planned it out thinking about these seven weeks, but depending on when you watch this or however much time you've got left, um, you can tweak it, absolutely tweak it. So this is primarily a discussion of, you know, what to do when you have a limited amount of time to get something done. Um, what, uh, how are we going to revise in, in a limited amount of time? Seven weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that date right here, that will be the 12th. What goes in the plan? Now, obviously there's a lot of general things that we could discuss, but this is all about exams that are happening seven weeks from now. So what are the two priorities? So two is prioritize. Point number two is prioritize. Now for, you know, for the kind of exams that we're talking about, the key priorities are two. First, the first one is obviously revise. Okay, we've had a, an ama a, a, a certain amount of time where possibly we've not been looking over that content. So we need to refresh our minds on it. Don't worry, don't panic. It's not like, um, I know the first thought that comes in your mind is, well, I've got two years of stuff to do in seven weeks. How is that possible? That, that's negativity. You've got to get rid of that, okay? What, what your priority is going to be is to do what you can do in the time that you have, not worry about all the things that you can't do, okay? So we need to refresh our content. Remember, you learned this stuff already. Either it was learned well or not so well, but it is not brand new. It is not brand new. So we just need to refresh ourselves on that content. Okay, so first is revise. But the other big priority in the preparation of uh, A-level exams is exam practice. Okay, uh, past exam cues. So those are the two priorities. Th these are the two things we need to fit into the plan. Okay. So um, let's just quickly do some labeling here. Week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven. Okay. Um, all right. So we've got revision to do and we've got exam practice to do. The next part of my process would be to schedule things out. So put things into your schedule. So how I would do is I would build up towards exam practice and understand that initially I will need to remind myself of all the content. All right. And I don't want to do too little of exam practice. Remember, these are A-level biology exams under the new specification. Well, new in inverted commas since 2015 is a greater emphasis on application, less emphasis on simple, straightforward content knowledge. So we're going to have to do quite a lot of exam practice if we want to get a good grade. So I'm going to have more exam practice in my schedule than revision. Okay. Revision is the lesser of the two skills. So um, I'm going to give roughly four weeks to exam practice. Okay. Roughly four weeks to exam practice. So exam questions. And I'm going to give three weeks uh, to revision memorization. Okay, I'm going to give myself three weeks to do that. 
this is just a rough plan this is just my approach to it um, you can have a different uh, opinion but but you know more important than all of this detail is have a plan just have a plan make a plan stick to it get it done all right so we've got revision we've got exam questions and that's how we're gonna space it out and there's a little bit more to that but now let's talk about revision okay so in terms of the revision there's a few key principles that we need to follow in order to make sure that our revision is effective so in terms of revision the key things that we need to try and make sure that we do is to make sure that all the content is covered we can't have any um, blank spaces any blind spots any areas that we don't like so we just kind of leave no we must make sure that we cover all the content and, and the way we're gonna force ourselves to do that is by adding it to our schedule okay so we need to cover all the content we're gonna use the specification or our knowledge of the specification in order to get that done next key concept to do with revision is we need to make sure that we are revisiting enough revisiting repeating those ideas we need to incorporate that into this and we've got seven weeks to do it or however long you might have but we need to try and incorporate some aspect of this to make sure that we're not just looking at stuff um, once we're trying to get maybe two three times within our three weeks okay so we need to incorporate this we're covering the content and this is my advice to you the closer you get so the shorter the amount of time you have before an exam the less of the detail you need to focus on okay so um, you know don't get obsessed don't get obsessed with detail so the closer, so if we look at, if we look at all the knowledge as a, as a pyramid, okay, where you've got your, 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 your so, so the top is the whole of your biology specification, and then below that, you've got your modules, below that, you've got your topics, and below that, you've got all your details. The closer and closer you get to your exam, the higher and higher you have to be thinking in terms of your preparation so you kind of have to let go of all the details if you can't manage to remember you know the name of that particular pathogen that infects potatoes and i can't okay but if you can't remember those details that's fine as long as you know the types of pathogens as long as you know what pathogens are as long as you know how they fit into the grand scheme of your topic that's more important and that's at this point you're probably going to get a lot more return on your investment from understanding concepts in general rather than worrying about the details that fit into the concepts so that's important and as we you know as we have these seven weeks we need to be thinking in that way how is it going to work so we've got these three weeks in order to do revision so each week has seven days and a, a quick look at all the specifications so with edexcel with edXL, you've got eight topics. With AQA, I think you've got eight topics. And with OCR, with OCR, we've got five modules. Not including the practical one, but in terms of content knowledge, you've got those five modules, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so we need to fit all of this in one week so that we get three visits to that content okay so um, that's up to you how you're going to do so if it's edXL you probably got two topics a day that's actually AQA and edXL roughly you've got to try and get through two topics a day again that's it's seeming like an impossible task but if you go to back to the idea of you know it's too late to revise it's too late maybe to worry about all those small pernickety little details let's make sure that we get the concepts we get the big ideas okay let's make sure that we get respiration rather than worrying about what the name of that molecule four carbon molecule was in the Krebs cycle that's the kind of thing I'm talking about okay 
Um, so we've got two topics a day, and with OCR, uh, you've got five modules, so maybe you could do one module, one module a day, okay? And that leaves you um, with a little bit extra, but then you can decide how to play around with that. And then what I'm suggesting is that you do it once, and then you repeat it on the next day, uh, week, and you repeat it on the next week, and maybe you might want to take a break once you've gone through it once, you want to do some exam papers and then go back to revision and then do exam papers. Again, that's up to you, and that may be a better incorporation of spaced repetition. Okay, but that's what I'm suggesting, is that for your um, specification, make sure that you cover, you're able to cover the specification in a week so that you can repeat it over uh, a number of times before the exams arrive. So that's the revision part of it done. Next, with the exam questions, again, that's just getting through them. Um, I, you know, there's obviously there's good practice when it comes to exam questions, but try and do, try and do entire papers. So try and mimic um, what it's going to be like to do these papers. So try not to do topic-based questions, uh, you know, uh, questions grouped in certain different ways. Try to do them as they appear in the paper so that you get the actual feel for the exam and, and you're making your brain work a little bit uh, harder in terms of recalling that content. Okay, so we're going to use entire papers. Um, I don't know how much it's physically possible for you to do in four weeks, but try and do as many as possible. Okay, so your, your, your priority should be to get at least all of the new spec papers done in this time, and I think that's possible. Okay, try and do uh, all the new spec, all the new spec papers since 2017, but then if you can, um, the more questions you can uh, throw at your brain, the better uh, it is for you. So once you've gone through the new spec questions, try as many um, questions possibly from other specifications or um, old spec uh, papers if you can find them, okay? But this is the time where you're going to do that, give enough time, plan out how you're going to do the papers in those four weeks. We're not quite finished because even when the exams are happening, you know, that's an important time and you can, you can kind of plan, uh, you can optimize your activity during that time as well. So what I suggest is, what I suggest is this, if I just get rid of this. So, so we've got 12, then we've got 16, and then we've got 20. So there's four days in between them, right? So what I suggest is, if that's paper three right there, if paper three is happening on the 20th, and paper two is happening on the 16th, you've got four days just to focus on paper three. That's good. Okay, so all, all those four days you're going to focus on paper three, which means paper two, you're going to focus only on paper two from the 12th to the 16th, and that what that means is your seventh week of preparation, the four days leading up to paper one, the four days leading up to paper one, um, you're only going to focus on the content exam papers that relate to paper one, okay? So uh, what that means is our general working through exam papers stops four days before uh, paper one, and from that point we're just going to focus on paper one, focus on paper two, focus on paper three. And that is my suggestion. If you're running out of time, I mean it depends when you're seeing this, but if you're short on time you can cut away some of the extra stuff kind of built into this um, and try and make it work for you. But these are the principles that I'm suggesting. Okay, so schedule means allocating the time. All right, so first, we're not going to panic because we've got a plan. Second, we're going to prioritize revision and we're going to prioritize exam 
question activities. We don't have time for anything else. Three, once we've done that, we're going to split up the time that's available to us um, to achieve those two objectives. So we're going to give some time for revision. We're going to give some time to exam questions. Next, in terms of revision, we are going to stick to some key principles, which is we need to cover all the content. We're not going to leave any gaps, but we're not going to worry about the minor, minor details either. OK, um, but what we're not going to have is any large areas that we don't know. OK, um, and finally, we're going to try and build in some repeating, revisiting of the content. OK, um, and then we're going to try and cover all the content in a week so that we can give a number of weeks to the revision. With the exam questions, we're going to do entire papers. We're going to do as many as possible and focus on the new spec. OK, and look self-assess your work and where you're getting questions wrong go back to your content don't just think oh it's wrong um, need to move on to the next question use your exam questions as signals for what you need to work on okay right one thing i forgot to say revision in terms of revision keep very very important at this stage if you don't have so revision, it has to be from notes. It has to be from something that is a condensed version of the textbook. Do not revise from a textbook. Just don't do it, man. OK, what you need to do is either you've already made your notes throughout the year. Use those bullet points, numbered points, things like that. If you don't have notes of your own you need to find some online so make sure that they're linked to the exam uh, make sure they're linked to your um, specification or exam board in some way um, get notes and revise from the condensed information okay we don't have time now to make notes it might seem like a the natural thing to do do not do that okay get notes or use your notes that you've already got and revise from those, please. And there we have it, guys. And I hope that um, I've made up for some of my sins by helping you guys out with this. Please don't take away the detail of this. Please take away the principles of this. This is how I would do my revision, but you might want to tweak one or two things for what you think is right. But yeah, I hope this helps you out, guys. Good luck. You've worked hard, keep working hard, um, and I hope you get the due rewards. <laughs>